Hi guys, just thought I'd show this. I, I had stopped doing uh, vape teardowns, but Big Clive did a, or BigClive.com did a video on one of these back in November, and this is the first one of them I've come across. I still pick them up occasionally uh, for the batteries. This one is pretty destroyed, so I probably won't keep it anyway. But I was taking it apart and suddenly realized that it's one of the new shape. So the stuff at the end here, I've already pulled out and thrown away. I've just pulled it out of the bin to try and find the bits and pieces. Uh, it would have been in that way round. Uh, the very end cap I've already thrown in the bin. Uh, that's your smelly stuff. In there is the heater element. But the, uh, the clever bit about this, or the new bit about this, which Big Clive was quite interested in, is it's modular. So the heater element and the vape liquid sits in that module, and it's plug and play. It plugs directly into there. So there's no wiring for anybody to do, no soldering. And then if I can get that bit off... What we have here now is a little printed circuit board with the sensor on it, with those two pegs to go into the heater element. And this is still a lithium ion battery, although it looks quite a lot like a supercapacitor or just a capacitor, but it is still a lithium ion battery, according to Big Clive. Uh, 1330 zero so that would be 13 millimeters diameter 30 millimeters long and zero to indicate it's a cylindrical battery 360 milliamp hours 3.7 volts 1.33 watt hours but yeah that's directly soldered onto this circuit board along with the sensor because i've started collecting these again because i want the sensors because I'm experimenting using them as 10 second timers because they've got a, well, within the circuitry there, they limit your puff time to 10 seconds at a time. So when you suck on your vape, that senses you sucking. It switches on the current that goes to these two pegs that heat up the, or power the heater element but it limits that to 10 seconds and then turns it off again. So I've started collecting vapes again just for those sensors. Um, as I say, in this case, that battery's probably no good. I'll just get me meter and have a look at it. And even if it is any good, because it's been crushed like that, you probably don't want to play with it. It'll probably let you down. Potentially dramatically. Can you see that? I've got me wires all over everywhere. There's the two tags. I can't see which is positive and which is negative, but uh, logically, because it's got the stripe along that side, that side ought to be the negative. So if I go there and there, 3.5, oh, got me thingy in the way. Oh, the light came on then, did you see that? I had a little flash. Well, on there. Oh, I see, oh, that's nice. Well, that's minus. I've got me. Why have I got me bearings wrong? Ooh, that's warming up. <laughs> yeah, this could be fun. We'll have another look anyway. That was three point something when we started, but that's suddenly gone down, hasn't it? And as I say, the battery is heating up. 
So probably best to dispose of that before it bursts into flames. But that was interesting that it's got the LED there, and that's what that plastic bar is to transfer the light to the other end. Just wonder if we can get that to come on again. Sometimes you can do it just by pressing the... There we go. Oh, that's a nice little touch, that. Having it all on there. So it's a tiny little LED just there, but with that plastic tube, or whatever you want to call it, that extends the light. Yeah, well, that's interesting that warmed up a little bit. It's, it's cooled down again now, but obviously drawing a bit of current from it. Got it excited. Let's just measure it again. Oh, I just that's got positive, that's got plus written all up the side of it. I didn't even notice that on your electrolytic capacitors, which look the same. The black bar indicates the negative, and it has minuses all the so up the side of it. That would explain why I was getting negative voltage instead of positive voltage. Yeah, we're down to three volts now. That definitely said about three point four, three point five when we started. But because that one's been crushed, it's probably safest to dispose of it. I might desolder it. Because I do want the um, sensor. And that's nice, that little LED thing up the side. Is it glued on the side? It's stuck on there. There we go. There's the LED, that little fella. Yeah, I've got my soldering iron switched on anyway, so I'll desolder that just so I've got the little circuit board on its own and then dispose of that. So, oh, what brand was it? Uh, it's an elf bar. It's pretty destroyed, as you can see where it's been in the row, but it looks like elf bar. I think that says 600 V2 just there, six zero, and then the next zero is probably rubbed out, and then V2. So I think this is their version 2 design. And I think that says 20 milliliters just there. Yeah. So yeah, the this is the end you suck. But that bit's missing. Pulled all the stuff out and that's the other end. Desoldered it. So this side we can see the chip that does the work. And where was the LED? Oh, that was, that's the LED. And that's the chip. I'll go macro mode just in case we can read anything off that chip. I'm just shooting an extra bit of video to compare the types of sensors I'm used to seeing and this new one that we've just got out the version 2 elf bar. I said that chip on the back was the one that does all the work. Well, it does, but normally it's actually inside the sensor. So I thought I'd better just check and have a look. So I've ripped the cover off that sensor and yeah, there's nothing inside there. It it works on, well, capacitance, basically, but I'm not going to go into all that now. But the air pressure changes the little pad in there. And that makes contact. And that triggers the uh, puffer, <laughs> the heater. But as I say, normally, that chip is actually inside there. So I thought I'd just rip one of these apart and show you. I can do that without going out of focus. That's the LED on the front there. Oh, we are out of focus. Come back again. 
Right. That's the LED on the front. And then we've got this little aluminium case, which if I crush and rip apart, Come on, stay in focus for a few minutes, please. Right, there we go. So that's the, the case off. And then inside is the chip. Now, interestingly enough, that one's a different one. The ones I've been pulling apart normally are a five pin, like that one is. Well, if that one's got a... Uh, Looks like it's got four down one edge and four down the other edge. So that's actually a different version. I'll have to go macro mode, see if we can see the number on that chip. But I'm fully confident it will be working the same way. Power comes in on the red and the black. And when it detects you puffing, it puts a signal out on the blue to actually heat up the heater coil so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists thanks again